Welcome back, Blade fans. I've been meaning to do this interesting little video now for quite some time. The question is, how do you store your knives? Maybe you've got a very small collection and it fits in a sock drawer, right? Or a jewelry drawer with your watches and maybe pens and flashlights and whatever it is you might collect. Or you might have a bigger collection. I'm going to show you um, not what you should get, but a few things that I use. And I'm still trying to figure it out. So I'm beginning with uh, pretty much the largest single storage area I have, which is this uh, Harbor Freight Apache 3800 case. Now, Harbor Freight makes a smaller case. I think it's a 2800. I think they make a 4800. Um, and then you buy an insert. You can do the pick and pluck foam thing, which I absolutely detest over the years of having to carry camera equipment and firearms and you name it. I absolutely detest pick and pluck foam. You may love it. But here's my solution. And I believe Slicey Dicey showed this specific one before, but I think I beat him to it. So, here we have what's called a Nalpak 40 knife insert. This particular one's gray on the top and blue inside. You can get them different colors. And the knives just drop in. Most of them do. You get something weird and humongous like this uh, Max Venom. <laughs> and uh, it'll sort of fit. But uh, a lot of knives in here, some of which, uh, many of which I've done reviews on so far. But they're well protected. They move around a little bit loose, but this is uh, what's called a mil-spec foam. It's a very, very dense closed cell foam. This is not the foam uh, of uh, pick and pluck or uh, styrofoam or what have you. This is a very dense foam. Unfortunately, these can run around 80 or $90, and they will charge you coast to coast 20 bucks to ship it, even though it's light as a feather. Anyway, I bought the Harbor Freight 3800, Apache and put that insert in it and it's lockable you've got the uh, hasps here that are metal covered put padlocks in it lash it down whatever moving on to the next one so here we have the Spyderco Spidey Pack and although it's made by Spyderco believe it or not you can put other knives in there we have a heavy-duty Velcro, like this, and if I have the room, I'll show you the whole thing. If not, we'll slide it around. This one happens to contain um, a good amount of my Tucson collection. So, uh, you can't see them really well because these are see-through vinyl. They do a pretty good job of protecting the knives. You tip them up like this and they will slide out. But at the very top, and you can't see it here, I'll show you when I close it up, there is a ring and you can put a nail in the wall and hang it. So uh, this particular one will hold, I believe, 36 blades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight in that row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got 14. And then one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight and eight. 16 plus 14 gives you your... Um, you do the math. <laughs> I think it's a 38. Anyway, that is the Spidey Pack. It's a great way to display them all at once, see them all at once, 
Um, the only problem with the now pack is that it um, kind of just shows you the butt ends of the knife, so you can't really tell what's in there. You probably can after a while, but with this you can display everything, hang it on a wall if you wish, fold it up when you want to visit your uh, blade collecting friends. Cinches up nicely like that and there's the ring we can hang it from the top here is a strap you can put it over your shoulder and it's adjustable this is kind of a uh, small attache soft case made by Kershaw I believe it was Kershaw or ZT took the label off didn't want to advertise and this one which you have is a velcro removable center section that holds one two three four knives and then you got one two three four five knives on the outer edges so you got a total if you and, and this is a, quite the stuff job inside actually you've got a slot on each side for very skinny knives um, i can only fit one in either side of these slots here. So that's by Kershaw. Kind of a takeoff on the uh, Spidey Pack, but uh, much smaller and uh, without the visible uh, plastic. Now here's a solution by Condor. And this I think I got off of Amazon. You can put your uh, patches on the outside. Pretty strong Velcro. This is only a six knife. And you can't really see them. But uh, they fit down in there nicely. They're protected. They're padded. And, uh, you know, put what you want in there. So those three seal off there, you fold it up in the flap, and there's three more up here, and that flap seals over, and you got yourself a little handy carry handle. Finally, this is my own little invention, and uh, these are little storage boxes. They make them for jewelry or cosmetics or drawer organizers or what have you. You can get them in all sizes, but I chose the six by three inch size and they are stackable as you can see. And these are filling to the top an Ikea drawer from a cabinet that I assembled. You have to say made in America because I made it right here in my house. <laughs> Put it together. Um, what I also did was take a little bit of this um, rubber drawer lining matting and um, cut a piece just so the knives don't slide around on there. But in this particular drawer, I can stack them three deep, three across, so that's nine, another nine is 18. So I got 18 knives in this drawer all in their own little cubbies. Want to take out a knife in the bottom or look at some pens? No problem. Of course, you can use these and stack them elsewhere. They don't have to go in a drawer. But these tuck away very nicely. Um, they're called iStore. That's I S T O. No, I'm sorry, Story. S T O R I on Amazon makes these they're a little bit on the pricey side but they're not too bad depends on the size you get you can get them in about 10 different sizes from these all the way to much larger ones um, so that is my knife storage solutions thus far aside from storing one or two in my pockets throughout the course of a day and um, this is this old sword if you've got uh, your own ideas about knife storage and uh, or display, let me know. These are a few of mine. Hope you like this video and you subscribe.